No, I'm just I'm just trying to. No, we're just we're just picking up the noise. Oh. I keep call, to, keep talking. Not just for fun. Anyway, sugary dal. So like capacitors, right? So it's all right then. So we start with capacitors. So capacitors. The one that eight syllables. So you have all these points. First, you have to understand the concept of what capacitance is. and what the farad is all right and we have to talk about isolated conductors and parallel plate capacitors and then there's a bunch of equations and uh, actually how to use capacitors in simple circuits all right so i'm going to shuru so first of all uh, what what is a capacitor it's basically a device that you can put in a circuit which does what stores charge so usually when we draw it we draw it like this right ঠিক আছে ঠিক আছে উই ড্রয়ড লাইক দিস এন্ড এটার মধ্যে বেসিকলি উই হ্যাভ দিস মেটাল প্লেটস সো ইট ডাজন্ট নেসেসারিলি হ্যাভ টু বি প্যারালাল প্লেটস লাইক দিস ইট ক্যান বি डिफरेंट টাইপস অল রাইট সো লেটস স্টার্ট উইথ দ্য বেসিকস অফ ইট ইফ উই টেক সে আ মেটাল স্ফিয়ার ঠিক আছে এন্ড সে ইটস নিউট্রাল সো এই অবস্থায় সে উই স্টার্ট চার্জিং দিস আপ ডু ইউ রিমেম্বার ফ্রম ইলেকট্রিক ফিল্ডস উই টক अबाउट metal conductors if you take a metal conductor and if you charge it where do the charges go they go and accumulate on the surface right they accumulate on the outer surface say we charge this up negatively all right fine all over so it is once you charge this up and charges are accumulated going onto the surface talk on if you take a wire and if you connect the capacitor sorry connect the metal sphere with an ammeter to the ground what would you get you'd get a current flow would you get a constant current flow no why because initially there is a lot of electrons on the surface they're going to push each other with a lot of electrostatic repulsion and there's going to be a pretty high flow of electrons from the sphere to the earth so which way is the current from the earth to the sphere electron flow is always opposite to the direction of current flow you're supposed to know this by now so if we were to draw a graph of how exactly these particles uh, the the current flow is the charged particles are moving the rate of flow of charge what would it look like it would look like this take us it would look like a decay curve basically what's happening is initially the charge is really the the current is really high and with time the amount of current flow decreases the magnitude of current flow decreases all right other things also change with this what else changes bol de barba there are other things which also change yeah very good uh we have potential difference take us potential jeto this is negatively charged ideally we should draw a graph which is actually along the negative axis so minus v versus time so a graph ta ki rokom hobe it would start from a finite negative value we're saying negative because the charge is negative so eta it would actually be like this eventually it would touch the axis right this also does touch the axis eventually when the whole capacitor is discharged take us direction of current flow edike amra jodi positive dhore tale obviously eta tomar ei graph ashbe tumi jodi opposite side theke dhore tale negative current flow erokom hoto but jai let's just keep it simple so potential difference ta oi rokom kore from most negative value theke aste aste it reaches zero so the potential difference between the sphere and the ground decreases so if anything is connected to the ground amra ki jani it is earth what is the potential of earth zero volts so yeah this will eventually reach zero volts and there's another graph which could be charge ঠিক আছে q versus t again this should be along the negative axis because it's negatively charged so to be negatively acco or positively acco you end up getting the same behavior which is basically eta at a negative charge theke eventually reaches zero minus q theke it goes to zero do you get it all of this happens in the same amount of time right so this is the concept of a capacitor ঠিক আছে so that's one way of doing it another way would be you could take two metal spheres ঠিক আছে you charge up one positively and you charge another one negatively and you connect let's let's connect two things you connect an ammeter and you connect a voltmeter so what are you going to see you're going to see the same exact thing ঠিক আছে with time 
capacitance global well, capacitance na current will decrease and also potential difference ta current bolte paro ba potential difference bolte paro with time they both decrease and reach zero when the potential is reaches zero between them ton ke ki hoy the current flow is also zero right because there's no difference to push charges from one state to the other eventually eta pura ta neutral hoye jay and eta also pura ta neutral hoye jay is this clear to everyone pretty straight forward jamra ta hocche ekta line all right now uh, we can extend this concept into parallel plates take a second parallel plates ki rokom hobe you take a thin metal sheet and you take another thin metal sheet and you place them side by side and matkane there is an insulating material to for simplicity we could say it's air but in real life capacitors uh, they're basically they have this thin sheet of say wax paper or like any sort of paper and it's covered with an insulating material like wax i guess or any sort of oil then what is done is uh, they're rolled on top of each other take a sector on the rolling kore tarpor you roll one on the other something like this so like you know and then you get those tiny little things that you have uh on uh, yes uh ki jani bole on circuit board and stuff you have these little capacitors right that's not they look like tiny little poke cans right so you know so eighty inch stuff all right so a capacitor initially is neutral what you can do is you can take a battery or a cell and you can connect it to two sides of the capacitor basically connect it to the two plates tokhon ke ki hobe initially this is neutral so the pd across this is how much 0 volts the pd across this is 1.5 volts does this make sense tarpor say we put an ammeter here the ammeter initially ঠিক আছে উইল বি আ হাই ভ্যালু খেয়াল করব একটা জিনিস আগে টাই when we were talking about this we were talking about discharge capacitors right here we're talking about charging up a capacitor ঠিক আছে so what's going to happen here you connect it and this will cause positive charges to flow or actually electrons but jeto we're talking about current this will become positively charged right because it's connected to the positive terminal and this is negatively charged so this is connected to the negative terminal does this make sense because it's connected here yeah as this happens what happens to the pd across the capacitor it increases initially from 0 volts as as the it increases to 1.5 volts a increased as jato kon hoyte thakbe toto kon it's building a voltage against the cell tale ke ki hobe the flow will progressively decrease so initially a capacitor voltage versus time graph to the amraki initially the voltage is zero as the state of uttorte it stabilizes at 1.5 do you get it similarly the amount of charge in the capacitor q versus time it to the amra bujhte chai this also follows the same behavior it fills up charge if we if we're taking one plate okay so we'll talk about two plates at the board taller for one plate a to actor point again stabilize kore however the current graph will be slightly different ঠিক আছে কারেন্ট ভার্সেস টাইম কি রকম হবে আগে ইনিশিয়ালি ফ্লো অনেক ফাস্ট হবে তারপরে আস্তে আস্তে অ্যাজ দ্য ক্যাপাসিটার স্টার্টস টু অপোজ ইট ইট আস্তে আস্তে ইট উইল ড্রপ অ্যান্ড ইট রিচ এ জিরো ইটস বিকজ দিস রিচ এ জিরো দ্যাট দ্য অ্যামাউন্ট অফ চার্জ অ্যাকিউমুলেটেড নো লঙ্গার চেঞ্জেস অ্যান্ড নাইট এন্ড দ্য দ্য পোটেনশিয়াল ডিফারেন্স অ্যাক্রস দ্য প্লেস বিকজ আর তো চার্জ ফিল্ড আপ হচ্ছে না ডাজ দিস মেক সেন্স ইউ হ্যাভ আ কাপল অফ অ্যানালজিস টু কম্পেয়ার দিস টু ওয়ান অ্যানালজি উড বি ব্লোয়িং আপ এ বেলুন রাইট ইফ ইউ টেক এ বেলুন অ্যান্ড ইউ স্টার্ট uh blowing it on ke ki hoga the volume of the balloon increases and the pressure in the balloon will increase as much as you can exert with your lungs and assuming that the balloon can't pop ekta shomoy ashbe je the balloon's tension in the walls the tension in the walls of the balloon is equal to mane it generates a pressure in the balloon which is equal to the pressure that you can apply by breathing into it tokhon ke tomar kintu ar flow hobe na keno because the the pushing force is equal to the amount of pushing force that the the air in the balloon has basically the pressure they both equal so the one get it drops down to this this is basically uh, the same analogy you can also use a water tank take us so if we if we use the water tank analogy i'd like to use that current for a kajas for when we talk about capacitance so say we take a tank of water a rakam and there's a small pump here so the pump pulls water and pumps it into the tank so initially the flow is going to be really fast because the tank is empty as thus the when the water level rises the one key over this pressure acting on the tank on the on the pump so the flow of water that it can supply decreases and then it reaches a certain height j height e gaye the pressure maximum pressure that the pump can exert is already equal to the pressure at the bottom of the tank 
তখন দে উইল বি নো লঙ্গার এনি ফ্লো ঠিক আছে ডাজ দিস মেক সেন্স ফর এভরিওয়ান অল রাইট সো দিস ইজ বেসিক্যালি হোয়াট হ্যাপেন্স ইন দ্য ক্যাপাসিটর সো কারেন্ট উইল ডিক্রিজ এন্ড দ্য ভোল্টেজ উইল ইনক্রিজ এন্ড ইট উইল স্টপ হোয়েন দ্য ইএমএফ ইজ इक्वल টু দ্য পিডি দিস ইজ হাউ উই চার্জ আপ ক্যাপাসিটর ইয়েস ইনিশিয়ালি <laughs> ঠিক আছে বিকজ ইটস বোথ বোথ অফ দ্য প্লেটস আর নিউট্রাল হোয়াটস দ্য ফাইনাল চার্জ অফ দ্য ক্যাপাসিটর ইটস স্টিল জিরো কেন বিকজ এটা যত চার্জ হবে সে উই গিভ দিস এ চার্জ অফ সে প্লাস 5 কুলুমস আর এটা হয়ে যাবে মাইনাস 5 কুলুমস সো হোয়াটস দ্য টোটাল চার্জ স্টোর ইন দ্য ক্যাপাসিটর জিরো সো হোয়াট ইজ ইট এক্স্যাক্টলি স্টোরিং দা হল ইটস ইটস স্টোরিং এনার্জি হাউ ইজ ইট স্টোরিং এনার্জি বাই সেপারেটিং চার্জেস ঠিক আছে so if you money well, basically by separating charges you build a potential difference and that is a storage of energy so if you were to say the function of a capacitor the first function you should mention is it is a device to store energy by separating charges take us if you run out of other things to say like you know time delay circuits blah 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 the only the last thing you should say it can also be used to store charge because how can you use a capacitor to store charge if you charge up both plates say the same charge say you charge them both up negatively so on you can use it to store negative charges and stuff like that that to put it clear all right so discharging ne uh this is the basic concept that you need to know now we need to talk about another concept the concept of capacitance t a n c e so capacitance So what is the concept of capacitance it's basically the amount of uh energy take sir that you would need for storing charge All right so uh we represent it with basically a c and the formula then do you guys know the formula for capacitance bolo is going to be q by v yeah capacitance is q by v does this make sense so it's really simple kid you take a capacitor this is a circuit diagram of our club and we put it across an emf of say 1 volt all right tohon say the capacitor ch- stores a charge of 1 coulomb okay sir so tohon we say that the capacitance of this capacitor is 1 coulomb per volt does this make sense really easy coulomb per volt na bole we can also call, call it farad ঠিক আছে সো ইউ ক্যান সে 1 ফ্যারাড দ্যাট ইজ মেক সেন্স সো দিস ইজ অ্যাকচুয়ালি এ প্রিটি হাই ক্যাপাসিটেন্স 1 কুলম ফর 1 ভোল্ট দ্যাটস প্রিটি লার্জ ক্যাপাসিটেন্স ইউজুয়ালি দ্য ক্যাপাসিটরস দ্যাট ইউ সি ইন সার্কিটস এন্ড एवरीथिंग দোজ আর ইন মাইক্রো ফ্যারাডস ঠিক আছে সো 1 মাইক্রো ফ্যারাড উড বেসিক্যালি মিন হোয়াট ইট স্টোরস 1 মাইক্রো কুলম বেসিক্যালি 10 টু পাওয়ার মাইনাস 6 কুলমস ফর এ পটেনশিয়াল ডিফারেন্স অফ 1 ভোল্ট এখানে উই ক্যান অ্যাকচুয়ালি সি এ প্রোগ্রেশন এখানে তুমি যদি 2 ভোল্টস দাও তাহলে কি হবে তখন কি এটা টু কুলমস চার্জ হবে থ্রি ভোল্ট যদি দাও থ্রি কুলমস অফ চার্জ হবে ফোর ভোল্টস যদি দাও তাহলে ফোর কুলমস অফ চার্জ হবে এন্ড সো অন সো ফর বাট ইউজুয়ালি ক্যাপাসিটরস হ্যাভ আ সার্টেন ভোল্টেজ টিল দে ওয়ার্ক প্রপারলি তারপরে ইট স্টার্টস টু মানে ডিসফাংশন ইট 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 ব্রেকস দ্য ইনসুলেটিং ম্যাটেরিয়ালস ক্যাপাবিলিটি টু স্টপ কারেন্ট ফ্লো ফ্রম ওয়ান প্লেট টু দি अदर বিকজ দ্য পটেনশিয়াল ইজ টু হাই ইট বার্নস টু ইট সো সে ফর एग्जांपल আ ক্যাপাসিটর uh has a maximum voltage of say 6 volts that means it would operate properly till 6 volts beyond that these uh, capacitances would start to fail basically there would there would most possibly be a current flow through the capacitor this is something we don't want okay so capacitors are i'm not going to know current flow china does this make sense all right so oops so ekhon je jinish ta amader ekhane dorkar uh when we talk about the concept of capacitance is uh we can actually draw a graph from this so graph ta amader ki hobe very simple if we do an experiment to find the capacitance of a capacitor what should be our independent variable come on uh yeah emf yeah emf or pd across the sub emf so eta amader dilam v and what would be our dependent variable q charge stored in the capacitor right how how do you actually measure charge stored in a capacitor 
Q is equal to it. But say for example, again the current flow is not constant. So what could you do? Huh? You could you could do that. You could put a rheostat, blah blah blah. Try to keep the current constant for a certain amount of time. And there's another device. It's called a Coulomb meter. Okay, sir. And what a Coulomb meter does is, uh, as the name says, it's, it measures amount of charge passing through it. This measures charge current into time used for equal. Okay, sir. So, akon a graph ta kiro kom hobe? Eter jonno? So one volt dile one Coulomb charge, two volt dile two Coulomb charge, three volt dile three Coulomb charge, blah blah blah. You get a straight line, right? More or less. Now, <coughs> obviously, the graph's gradient is capacitance, you know, because according to the definition, c is equal to q by v. So, again, to the gradient, bolo gradient is what? Del q by del v, which is basically the amount of capacitance, right? Straight line to the zero. However, there's another value here that you can extract, which is what? The area under the graph, right? So, area under the graph, calculo, what is it? It's going to be QV, right? So, QV, we've studied it before, haven't we? What is it? It's the work done. Okay, sir. How is it the work done? Because, I'm not going to say per charge, ke, charge per volt, sorry, I'm not going to say Farad, but volt is actually what? It's joules per coulomb, right? So, if it's joules per coulomb, then again, a volt is a like we can also say joules per coulomb. And Q is charge in coulombs. So, what do you get? Q is equal to CV, John Korba, is going to be joules per coulomb into C. So basically, it's energy in joules. Does this make sense to everyone? Acha. So here's a very important thing. You apply a potential difference, or say of any value, 1 volt, or whatever value, whatever value, and what you do is uh, you charge up the capacitor. The battery provides this much energy, right? But the capacitor stores only half of it. So where is the rest of the charge? It is always lost as resistance in the circuit. Either internal resistance of the battery or resistance of the wires. Basically, it does not reach the capacitor. It's energy used up in charging up the capacitor. Do you get that? So usually, uh, batteries and capacitors, uh, when you charge it up, you lose half the energy. Do you get that? And uh, we can calculate the amount of energy stored in a capacitor. Is this making sense? All right. So, uh, we have this formula, C is equal to QV, and, uh, Q by V, sorry. And we also have this formula, which is energy stored in a capacitor is how much? Half QV, right? Because that's the area of the triangle, half QV. So, we can actually use these equations together and come up with a couple of things. For example, so, C is equal to Q by V and E is equal to half CV, right? Sorry, QV, half QV. So, yeah, if you substitute this, what would you get? You can rewrite this as Q is equal to CV, right? So, you can write that uh, E is equal to half C squared. Is that clear? You can also substitute V. So V V is equal to Q by C. So if you substitute that into this, what do you get? E is equal to half Q square by C. And these equations can be used for measuring the capacitance, uh, measuring the energy stored in the capacitor. Is this clear? Yes. All right. So that's uh, most of it. We're just left with a little bit. Taken and therefore, let's see the points. Define capacitance. What is the word? Charge per unit voltage and the farad. Farad is the unit. So for both isolated conductors and parallel plate capacitors, recall and use C is equal to Q by V. Derive using the formula C is equal to Q by V conservation of charge and the addition of potential or potential differences formula for combined capacitance for capacitors and series uh, in capacitors in series and in parallel. All right. So now we have to talk about this. So to do this, I'm the key like First of all, we need to go to Kirchhoff's laws, right? And uh, we can actually start with drawing capacitors in series and parallel. So let's take three capacitors and put them in series. And also, we can take three capacitors and put them in parallel. Take a sir. Guys? So I would like you guys to take your copies out. Take a sir. 
So say all these are identical capacitors and each one has a capacitance of C farads. So Arvon, I'm giving you guys a minute to try to figure out the internet, how to find the capacitance. Derive the equations for this at first. It is derivation koro. It is the derivation each other. Is an empty word. You want to know? Bolo, you want to know? What does an Indian so, say when you're asking if you can use his capacitor? It's all you know. What does an Indian say? When you're asking if you can use his capacitor. Use his capacitor. I don't know. all of this out. <laughs>
done? Shabbat done? Alright. Check this So, uh, how are we going to solve this? Shuna. First of all, these three are in series. So that means the current passing through them is the same as they decrease it will decrease equally. So the charge stored in each of these capacitors is the same. So the value of Q for each capacitor stored charge is going to be the same. Alright. So if they're in series, according to Kirchhoff's second law, the voltage across them has to be equally divided. So basically total voltage, if we were to take the uh, vol take a voltmeter connected across it, the total vol voltage Vt would be equal to what? The V across capacitor 1 plus the V across capacitor 2 plus the V across capacitor 3, right? So this is 1, this is 2, this is 3. And again, we're going to use the formula K kilometer. Bolo? V equals to Q by C. Yeah. V is equal to Q by C. Basically, you take the capacitance equation and flip it over. Now, again, you can write that Q by C total is equal to Q by C1 plus Q by C2 plus Q by C3. You can divide both sides by Q because the value of Q is equal. Take it. So, uh, 1 by C total is equal to 1 by C1 plus 1 by C2 plus 1 by C3. Is this clear? This is the most simplest way that you can uh, explain this one. If we take capacitors and put them in parallel, the V across each one is the same. Right? Voltage like the total voltage across any of this is equal to the voltage of this, blah 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 blah. So you can actually keep with this current divides. Take so you're gonna see current passes through the same and you're gonna say the current divides into three parts. Do you clear on this? So what would you do? Basically, you could say the total charge entering the system is equal to the total charge accumulated on each of the capacitors. So you start off with say QT is equal to Q1 plus Q2 plus Q3. No joke, Shamya. Anyway. Again. So you can say Q is equal to Q1. No, just the equation Q is equal to Vc. So you can rewrite this as Vt C1, sorry Ct is equal to V1 C1 plus V2 C2 plus V3. No, we will, but the same. Wait, relax. C3. That's a hand. So basically, all the values of V are the same. So basically, Vt is equal to V1, which is equal to V2 plus, uh, which is equal to V3. So you can divide both sides by V. So the equation becomes Ct is equal to C1 plus C2 plus C3. Everyone clear on this? So the point that is important here is to the if you increase capacitors in series basically you decrease the capacitance of the entire setup if you increase capacitors in parallel you're increasing the capacitance of the entire setup does this make sense for everyone yes. all right so that goes the derivation of the two equations that you need for parallel for series and parallel equations one easy way of remembering it is it's opposite to the resistance equations Resistors of the you would be writing R1 plus R2 plus R3 and 1 by R1, 1 by R2, 1 by R3. It will take ulta with the ekhan. Is this clear? Alright, yellow. Any questions from this? Um, the book says like, the same thing, but it, it adds that um, the resistance, the, like, the equation for capacitance in series is similar to the resistance in parallel. Mm. And uh, the equation for capacitance in parallel is similar to the equation of resistors in series. Yeah, we did the bulla matra. I just said that. Yeah. All right, talk about it. So, solve problems using capacitance formula for capacitance in series and parallel into the gallo. Reduce the area under the potential charge graph. The equation V is equal to half QV and hence W sorry W is equal to half QV and hence half CV square. Show an understanding functions of capacitors in simple circuits. So what can we use capacitors to do? We can use it to store energy, right? We can use it to store charge and also you can use it for uh, time delay circuits. These are the different things that we can use capacitors for. Is everyone clear on this? Carbon data, sir? 
Okay, so we're done. Should add the fun. Huh? Huh?